What's going on YouTube? It's Ray from Philly on this Sunday, May 26, 2019 on this Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. I want to do another Ray from Philly top 10 episode. This is uh, episode number 11 and tonight we're going to be discussing the top 10 baseball rookie cards of the 1970s. So without further ado, we're going to start with number 10 and that is the 1976 Topps Dennis Eckersley rookie. Eckersley is in the Hall of Fame. He started off his career as a starter with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, when he went to the Oakland A's in the late 70s, he became a relief pitcher, won a Cy Young and an MVP. This card is a great looking card. Uh, the issues with this, sometimes it could have centering issues, but it's a fantastic looking card. And I have coming in at number 10, the 76 Topps, Dennis Eckersley. Coming in at number nine is the 79 Tops Ozzy Smith. Uh, I think this card has sensitivity issues as well with centering. It's really tough to find this card uh, centered. Ozzy Smith was probably the best fielding shortstop of all time. Coming in at number nine, the 1979 Tops Ozzy Smith rookie card. Coming in at number eight, is the 72 Tops Carlton Fisk. Fisk is featured on here with the Cecil Cooper rookie. I guess Tops figured Cooper was the higher prospect. That's why they have him in the center. Little did they know that Carlton Fisk would end up being one of the greatest catchers of all time. Definitely ranked in the top five in my opinion. And this card coming in at number eight, the 72 Tops Carlton Fisk. Coming in at number seven, the 1971 Topps Dusty Baker. The 71 Topps card definitely has condition issues with the black borders. Uh, Baker is not a Hall of Famer as a player. Could eventually maybe one day get in as a manager. Don Baylor was no slouch of a player neither. He was an MVP in 79 with the Angels. Uh, was a very, very good player. Tom Pachorek was a decent player. But this is mainly known as the Dusty Baker rookie. Coming in at number seven is the 71 Tops Dusty Baker. Number six is the 75 Tops Robin Yount rookie. This is an iconic card in the hobby. Uh, the 75 Tops is a beautiful looking set. Robin Yount played shortstop and center field for the Brewers, went into the 3000 hit club, won an MVP. Great looking card. Coming in at number six is the 75 Tops. Robin Yount rookie. You're going to see some surprises in here. Not every card is a Hall of Famer. Coming in at number five, here's one example. Besides the Dusty Baker, here's another one. The 1971 top Steve Garvey rookie. Garvey was the Iron Man before Cal Ripken was. He uh, holds the record for the most consecutive games played by a National Leaguer. Uh, played for the Dodgers and the Padres. Fantastic player, played first base. Card has sensitivity issues as well, being that it's a 71 tops with the black borders. So coming in at number five, the 71 tops, Steve Garvey. I just love this card. It's a really, really fantastic card. Garvey one day might end up in the Hall of Fame. Coming in at number four, one of the best third basemen of all time. Again, another card from the 75 tops, just like the Al. is the 75 tops, George Brett rookie. Brett was a fantastic five-tool player. Is in the 3,000 hit club, almost hit 400 in the year 1980, finished with a 390 average. Coming in at number four, the 1974 Topps George Brett rookie. Number three, the 1970 Topps Thurman Munson rookie. His 71 Topps is actually more valuable because of the black borders, but this is based on rookie cards of the 70s. So, in my opinion, coming in at number three is the 1970 Topps Thurman Munson rookie. Feature here with the Yankees, one of the best catchers of all time. But here's another player that's not in the Hall of Fame. But I feel that this is probably the third best valuable card, rookie card of the 1970s. Coming in at number two, the great Mike Schmidt, the 1973 Topps Mike Schmidt rookie. Some say that if Schmidt was uh, in a solo card for his rookie card, rather than featured on here with Ron Say and John Hilton, it kind of diminishes his value a little bit being on a multiplayer card. 
Nonetheless, this card is a great card. It's a fantastic rookie card of the great Mike Schmidt, probably the greatest third baseman all around of all time. Really nice looking card, my all time favorite player. Here's the biggest shock of the whole top 10. No, it's not the Winfield. No, it's not the Trammel. No, it's not the Molitor. No, it's not the Jack Morris. Coming in at number one is the 71 Topps Burt Bly 11 rookie. Another card from the 71 set. Probably the most popular set of the 70s. This card keeps going up in value because of the sensitivity condition issue of the black borders. Bly 11 is in the Hall of Fame has over 3,000 strikeouts. So coming in at number one for the 1970s is the 71 Tops Burt Bly Levin. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope everyone's continuing to have a great holiday weekend. Uh, make sure you um, thank everything that the, the troops have done for us over the years. And I appreciate all your likes and comments. I'll be back tomorrow with more PSA graded cards. I appreciate all your likes, all your comments. Make sure you have fun with it and keep on collecting. Talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.